Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It is February 18th of 2019, and here we go with um, our magical messages for this Monday and for this week. Um, our oil of the week is geranium. This is um, a super powerful oil of the heart, love and trust. So I'm putting it on my wrists and then I'm definitely putting it over my heart center. Um, that's big. And then I'm also gonna put it at my um, third eye and then also at my zeal point chakra, which is, you know, that one right up as the end of your neck and the beginning of your head right at your occiput. Good morning, hi. Um, so that's where I like to do, um, you know, pointer fingers, one at your third eye, one at the zeal point, and then um, same. This helps to integrate um, uh, so much. Anyway, just do it, it feels so good. And it kind of balances, integrates our system, um, and uh, brings these oils into our hormonal and endocrine system, into our heart, into our cerebrospinal fluid, down our spines, up into our brain. Okay, so geranium, love and trust. It releases betrayal and grief, and it really helps to mend a broken heart. And what I've found in my travels on the planet this time around is that um, broken hearts are really challenging to avoid. <laughs> I think we all have broken hearts at different times. So, hi Diane, I'm so happy you're here live too. That's so cool. Um, so, yeah, so we all have this in some form. Um, and so this is a beautiful way to heal um, our, our broken hearts and our broken places. It instills trust, forgiveness. Um, hey, Dawn, happy family day from Connecticut. I mean, from from Canada. <laughs> yeah, here is uh, President's Weekend. There's a lot of kids off today, too. Um, so it's uh, it instills trust, forgiveness. It opens our hearts. It restores confidence in others and in our world in general. Um, it encourages and reestablishes um, relationships, especially with our um, families and our families of origin and our parents. So um, it nurtures th that inner child, which again has to do with reestablishing and, and um, you know, finding forgiveness uh, and opening your heart to your, to some people who've been a part of your life for your whole life. Um, and it helps us to receive, you know, when we open our hearts, we really um, come into a place of receiving. So beautiful geranium. I used my yummy aromaheal.org cards that I love from Christy Diamond. So those are great. Our um, gemstone of the week is lapis lazuli. Such a beauty. Um, this activates our higher chakras. So third eye and crown, which we already have put oils on. So, you know, you always can put these stones right on your third eye. You can put them right on your crown. Um, it's a beautiful way to activate things. When, when I do that, I can, I can feel it zig all the way, zig and zag down into my system. It just gave me the chills. So um, it brings more awareness to our soul and our spiritual purpose here. Um, it promotes courage and supports us putting our light out into the world unencumbered. Um, and that's a big one, right? To, you know, like why are we going through all of this and doing all, all of this every week? You know, it's ultimately, I feel like it's to help us to be the very best that we can be, which serves us and really serves the planet and earth and um, the universe and our families and communities and friends and countries and all of that. So lapis lazuli helps with that um, uh, by promoting courage and don't we all need that? 
Okay, so tomorrow we have the second of three super full moons. And so just think about what a full moon will do for all of us and then now then bump it up a couple of notches, right? It escalates and accelerates all that is happening in your world right now. So be aware of that. Do you want those things accelerated? Do you want them... Um, do you want them even more? And if not, uh, then, then start making some shifts and changes to shift that. I love you too, Jen, and you're so welcome. It's great to, it's great to uh, continue to be in touch with you. So, um, so yeah, so intuitive messages are gonna be flowing at like an all time high with these super full moons. So this is, a really wonderful time to be more in touch with that. Um, you know, find some time to yourself, again, some meditation time, some journaling time, some walking in nature time. Um, all of that helps us to connect. Close down the chatter if you can. Um, as many of you know, I mean, I love to just go into the float tank, <laughs> right? go into a sensory deprivation tank. If anyone has that in their area, I'm obsessed with the float tank, but that is a great place to access um, these deeper parts of our soul and um, and just be in touch with ourselves. So, so we're getting a huge incoming wave of goodness from the universe this week. Um, and so remember your dreams and your desires and the things that you have been maybe thinking about that you want, that you're cultivating and bringing in for this year and for this time of your life. Um, so we are really supported right now to live and grow into our potential um, in terms of our purpose and our dreams. And don't tamp them down, you know, keep them really huge and big and then allow the universe to figure out the how. We just want to figure out the what. Okay, um, so and the geranium will help us to keep our hearts even more connected in and keep our brains out of it, you know, mostly. Um, okay, so on to our cards. The first one, we're using our Quan Yin Oracle, the Radiant Moon of Compassion. And what just absolutely jumped off the page was this um, sentence that she wrote, compassion is recognition of the power of all souls to co-create their life experience. It's also realizing and allowing and having compassion for all of humankind that the process of spiritual growth can be challenging and a struggle and hard, 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 hard at times. And so we can all cultivate kindness and compassion. We can look at every single being and know that they're doing the best that they can and to have compassion and kindness for them. It does not mean that we have to condone or be around people that are doing things that we are not in alignment with. So don't confuse it with I have to somehow be nice to everyone. Um, what, what I really believe this was saying is that we can just have an air, like a, an energy of compassion and kindness that people are doing the best that they can. We are doing the best that we can. And, um, and that um, when we have compassion, it actually can align us and liberate us um, back to being more at our soul's light. It feels so much better when, we see, when we're feeling triggered by someone or a situation or behavior or an experience to come at all of it with a, in a place of compassion and kindness. Um, it, it, like, it, it totally liberates and frees us up. So, um, yeah. We all have these amazing spiritual powers, and so we cut ourselves off from them when we cut ourselves off from compassion and kindness. And we really wanna be living our truth 
um, without judgment. And I feel like when we're, when we let go of judgment, we bring in compassion. It's kind of all in the same place. So um, ultimately it will help us all to be free. And you know how I feel about freedom. I'm all about it. So how do we get more of it? Is, is, um, this is one way, compassion and kindness. So I, I love that. Okay, next card up, Keepers of the Earth. So this is just a reminder, we're not alone. <laughs> We are not alone. We have angels and guides and um, ancient soul family that is all around us all the time. We also have earthly support all around us all the time. We all have friends, family, um, family of choice. Um, we also have strangers that are just kind at times, right? They just do nice things um, and Practice, you know, saying thank you, please thank you to whoever you come across. When you walk into a store and you have a, a smile on your face and, and you're feeling open, it completely changes the energy of the entire space. And you will be amazed at how people respond to you in a very different way. So, um, so yeah, it, what, this, what it also is reminding us of, this card, the Keepers of the Earth, it reminds us um, to be in a place of receiving uh, at, a, at an even higher level. So again, getting back to the last card, um, or even, anyway, the oil, this whole reading um, is about you know receiving as well and being in a place of dreaming big, dreaming huge. And then all of that this week is really ripe to be coming in the full moon. And um, so, yeah, so if we stay in that place of goodness, compassion, uh, kindness, heart open, we, but then let's receive, allow ourselves to receive and be in that place of having more come in. Um, so when our heart expands, we have more space and room for that. Okay. Um, final card, Journey Within. So this is along the same lines, right? Of these other cards. Um, so the real and eternal you um, is perfect, is limitless, and um, doing fantastic and amazing things. The eternal you and me um, is that soul that came here to do its work and to learn and to um, be on the earth as earth is a classroom and to be in this space and place of learning and compassion and love. And we are completely connected to every single other being and every single um experience and uh, like plant and animal and um, all the living beings that are on this earth. We are connected in some way to all of them. So this is a reminder to be open, which we've talked about, and receive. Um, and all of this intuitive guidance that's gonna be coming in this week is gonna be helping us. So, it's to, so when you journey within, which we've already talked about, doing more meditation or um, walking in nature, journaling, spending time with yourself, prayer. Um, this, we're gonna be receiving this intuitive guidance, which is truly our birthright. We all have access to it. It's a matter of practicing it and then following it, following when we get these messages. Um, life is honestly so much easier when we um, have when we're aware of these daily communications from all of our helpers and the divine um, and the universe, and then to use it, right? So when that information comes in, don't um, don't ignore it. We all know what happens when we ignore it. We've all done it. 
How many millions of times have we done it? So where we'll say, gosh, I knew it. I knew I should have taken a right because the left then had traffic, you know, or I knew I should have worn uh, layers today. I knew it was gonna get colder, but I just, I went against my own inner guidance. So the more we can keep practicing following our inner guidance, the better. And this is why I love using doTERRA's essential oils. This is why I meditate and journal is to keep cultivating this practice. And, and I've gotten better at it over the years and we all have access to that. So that is that, everybody. So glorious to see you all here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming. Um, great to see you all. I hope this is supportive and helpful. Have a gorgeous, gorgeous day and a beautiful week. And I will see all of you from a different location next week. I may tell you where I am. I may not. Okay. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.